Okay, so back to school, yay. Some of you are going back to school. I'm gonna share something with you. My first two years of high school were miserable. I was uh, unhappy. Uh, there was a lot of uh, guilt and shame in my life. I was anxious about what people thought about me trying to be cool. They were miserable years. I was making a lot of bad decisions, uh, doing things that I regret it, um, all to impress other people. I wasn't a happy camper. My last two years of high school were really good. Why? Because about halfway through high school, uh, I gave my life to the Lord. I discovered the love of God. I invited Jesus into my heart. I repented of my sins. I, I started new. And the last two years, they were good years. There was a freedom, um, a joy. Now, I want to give you a little bit of, of advice. I know, you know, people don't like to be given advice. But I'm going to give you advice anyways, okay? Number one, Jesus says, when you go to a banquet, don't take the best seat, take the worst seat. And you'll be asked to come up to a higher place. When you go to school, don't don't try to impress people. Don't Don't try to look better than anyone else try to take the last seat i know it's counterintuitive you're thinking father mark you're crazy maybe i am but that's what jesus says take the last seat jesus also said those who exalt themselves will be humbled but those who humble themselves will be exalted so when you go back to school again humble yourself just just be comfortable with who you are. Be comfortable in your own skin. Accept yourself for who you are and, and just be humble. And the Lord, He will exalt you. And then finally, Jesus also said, seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be given to you besides. If you seek first the kingdom of God, you are going to have an awesome school year. The Lord will honor you for that in ways you can't even imagine, but it's going to take courage on your part. It's going to take the courage to be different, to not go with the flow of the world that leads to destruction. The road that leads to life, it's a hard road, it's a narrow road, but you can take this road. Be courageous and you will have a wonderful, awesome year.